Hi guys and welcome back to Top Mom. I'm Mrs. T and I've got some top tips on how to do some spring cleaning in your kids' closets. If you're an overbuyer of clothes like me and a thrift shopper, you'll find that you have way too many clothes and your kids never wear them. And then it comes the time where they have a growth spurt and nothing fits anymore. And you have to clean it out quickly but you don't want to get rid of the stuff that you think will fit. So I think this tip will help you out a lot. You don't need very much, just a pair of their clothes that don't fit any longer. My son came home with his pants, they were like high water pants, he looked ridiculous. And um, you know, when the shirts are too short up here, you can just grab the shirt and use the shirt as an example, or if you have like a string or a nice little tape measure, you could use this as well. But the thing with the pants is pretty slick, let me show you. We're gonna go into my son's closet here, and uh, so beware. Okay, just a lot of clothes. I know, it's ridiculous. But um, a lot of this stuff does not fit him anymore. And it just, I'm terrible at getting through it. Okay, so here's my tip. So these are the pants that he came home in that were way too short. He has all these really nice pants that he never wears because he only wants to wear the sport pants. But I keep them just because I know that we go to a lot of different events and... Um, for church or whatever it is that we're going to that I want him dressed appropriately for so Anyway, these are the pants So I just take the pants and I line them up up here and you can see that these are the jeans that are there are about an inch and a half Shorter two inches than the pants that were already short on him that he was wearing home the other day So we know those are going to be a no-go if you want to be more exact you could take it from the inseam so the crotch and match it up with the crotch here so inseam to inseam. Um, I'm not that picky with it because I know a lot of these are too short for him, but you could do it that way as well. So you can see that they are definitely still too short, even inseam to inseam. Um, the same with the, the shirts. So we can go here and we can get through these pretty quickly because we can see that these are all way too short for him. So those will be heading to donation or Wreath thrifting. I really love Poshmark. Again, the JBF sale. Super easy. As the kids get older, they can help make some money for tagging and and uh, getting it sold. Uh, so those are about the same. So I'll keep those since those are church pants. So it just is a really easy way to get through the stuff. Uh, I think we're good there. Those are definitely longer. And then for the shirts, same thing if you have one. I don't have one today, but I do know um, that his arm length was about 21. So I can go to all of the, the longer sleeve shirts and the ones that are too short, like this one. This is a perfect example. So I know from the edge of his shirt to there was supposed to be 21. So you can see this one is way too short. So this would just look ridiculous on him. Um, another way that you can measure it is if you have a t-shirt. You can measure from the neck of the t-shirt down depending on what length you've measured on your child. Um, if you don't want to do it when they're here. It's really hard for him to try these clothes on. It just creates a lot of uh, stress that we don't need to have added. But this is a great way of showing them. They can do this themselves if you like to give your kid chores. Um, they can go in and measure all the stuff and it's a little bit of math, so it might be a, a fun activity for getting them to be involved with their own clothes and what fits and what doesn't. And then again, the easiest way is when things are too small. My children aren't good at this because they have favorites and they refuse to give them up. I have to like hide them in the back bedroom um, for them to not wear them anymore. But um, if you have a child that is really like, this is too small, my daughter's much better at it. You know, there's a clothes bin in the closet that we have for donation and things that no longer fit. So if they can be in charge of it themselves, even better, right? All right. Well, I hope this top tip helped you guys out. And uh, if you have any suggestions for how you do your spring cleaning, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and yay, spring is finally here. So have fun spring cleaning.